Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. I, my screen started to go dark, so I hit the button to refresh it, and I paused the video, and it wouldn't let me pick it back up. So, what I was saying is that the microbeads go into your pores, and they scoop out the dirt. You can only use this product two to three times a week. So, three times if your skin is super oily, and if you've tried it twice a week and had no, like, negative reaction and think you could use it more. Twice a week if you're everybody else, and you want to do it in the shower. That's why we demo it on the elbow because it takes a lot of water to get those beads off. I've wiped my elbow a few times and there's still beads on my elbow. So it would get in their hair. And so we want them to demo it, or then we want them to use it in the shower two to three times a week. So what you would do is you would wash your face and then you would use this if it was microderm day. When they get out of the shower, we want them to use the pore minimizing serum, which comes with it together. These are $55. They are going to last them four to six months, depending on how often they use it and how much they use. Now this, they could use every day. If they do that, it is not going to last four to six months, right? The four to six months is the two to three times a week. But people who have large pores can absolutely use the serum every day. There's no harm in that. But this has a calming, soothing botanical complex in it. So I'm going to give them about that much. Not much. It wasn't even a full, I didn't depress the pump the whole way and tell them to put it right over that same elbow. And, and again, like people are always like, oh, it's so soft. It's so calming. That product is amazing. And so then I'll have them, you know, go like this to feel the huge difference in elbows. Um, mine don't look that different, but sometimes people look dramatically different. Um, especially if they have darker skin and they're, and the, so their dry skin is white and it'll really show a huge difference. So after they have done the microderm abrasion, you want to distribute the fabulous game to them. If you don't know what that is, just Google it. I um, did not bring one down here with me to show you. But so distribute the fabulous game and then ask them, tell them that we're going to play a game while they are um, doing the next thing. So once everybody has it, you're going to have them do the satin lips scrub. This is the new one. You're going to have them do this, and these go in those little circular wells at the top above where it says foundation. I think it's hard with this new one to only get a little bit out, but you want this much or less, and you're going to have them rub it on their lips. They're going to immediately notice that it's a sugar scrub, so when you tell them why microderm is perfectly round, which by the way, I should have told you when I was telling you about it. So the microderm beads are perfectly round because jagged crystals like apricot scrubs, strawberry scrubs, avocado scrubs actually cause micro tearing and harm our skin. So sugar scrubs are only for lips. This skin is tougher and turns over faster. So it's okay to use a sugar scrub here. It's not okay to use a sugar scrub or any other scrub anywhere else on your body. You need to have perfectly round crystals because the micro tears cause scarring, scar tissue, and that actually creates aging. But for your lips, it's okay. So I have them scrub this on their lips and I ask them to leave it while we do the fabulous game. And what you say to them for the fabulous game is um, that your business is totally referrals based. And so the greatest compliment that they can give you is to refer you to their friends and family. And that as a thank you to you for trusting you, <laughs> that's a lot, as a thank you for trusting you with their friends and family's information, you're going to offer each guest a $10 gift card. So if Sally gives you Jane's name, when you call Jane, you're going to let her know, hey, I had a facial with your friend Sally. She thought you would enjoy it too. And she in fact offered you a $10 gift card towards any purchase that you might like to make on that day. So you, I let my party know when I call them, I'm going to let them know that you have given them a $10 gift card. It's from you, but you don't have to buy it. Like it's really from me, but it's in your honor because you've trusted me. And they, they're like more than happy to give you names. So um, you want to, and I will also tell them, if you fill out all 20 spots on the Fabulous Game, I'm going to give you a free mineral eyeshadow. Um, and you pick whatever you want, but I like that because it's wholesale $4 for us. So I've paid $4 for 20 names. That feels good to me. That feels like a pretty good deal. Um, but if everybody here fills out all 20, I'm also going to give you all a Mint Bliss foot and leg lotion. I will tell you I've only had to do that once. I've only once had a party where every single person filled out 20. So it was, a hundred, it was five people. So it was 100 names. So I spent... $5.50 wholesale on the Mint Bliss Lotion and $4 wholesale on the eyeshadow. Let's call it six and four so I can do the math. So if I spent $10 total, so I spent $50 because there were five people, but I got 100 names, I've paid 50 cents a name, I'm definitely okay with that because any other place that you could ever buy leads, it's a dollar or more. So, um, and again, I've only had to do that once. I've given away a lot of eyeshadows, but I've rarely had 
a whole party where everybody does 20. So, you know, decide if you're in a place in your business where you could do that. And you don't have to offer product. If product feels expensive, you can offer them up. You know, if everybody does it, I'll give you all 10% off today or something like that that feels more comfortable to you. Go for it. So I then you leave. Now, here's the sort of like dirty secret. This doesn't need to sit that long. Like I could have taken it off forever ago, but it's not going to hurt me. So sometimes they, sometimes by the time I finish explaining the fabulous game, they're saying, can I take this off? Yeah, tell them they can, right? That's fine. So um, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to assume that there was a heckler who's like, I want to take this off. Um, sometimes they ask if they can eat it. I told them that I wouldn't recommend it, but it's definitely not going to hurt them, but it's not food. So you wipe that off. And then you do the um, satin lips lip balm. So again, I've squirted this already into that spot on the tray, but it's about that much. And it's just a clear lip balm. Both of these products are water-based, whereas most products like Chapstick, EOS, Carmex are alcohol-based, and they're actually designed to dry you out so that you keep putting them on so that you buy more. So um, Mary Kay cares a lot about healing skin, not about giving, getting reorders. And so every product is designed to actually do what it says it's going to do, and these are water-based, so they actually heal your lip skin. So let's say I've done that. Now I literally leave. You have to leave, if, especially if it is a one-on-one -on -one facial go, um, because otherwise she will sit there and feel awkward and she will not fill out the fabulous game. You have to be comfortable with that awkwardness. And in teaching, we call it think time, that when you ask a question and nobody responds right away, you as the question asker, you're like, oh God, I need to say something else. The silence is so uncomfortable. Let it happen. Because sometimes it takes two or three minutes, which will feel like an eternity for anybody to start writing. Um, but you need those referrals. That's, you know, you want that. So leave. Um, ask anybody if they want a glass of water. Go to the restroom, even if you don't have to go. Check your phone. Like, do something for two to three minutes before you even consider coming back. Um, and I also will make a joke out of it. Um, like, I'll set a timer on my phone. And then when I come back and the timer's going off and they're all writing, I'm like, oh, I got to give you more time. Somebody's getting competitive. Somebody wants an eyeshadow. And then leave again. So like they know I've checked on them and come back. Um, and then the other thing is that um, I want to make sure that they know that they can use their cell phones, right? Like it's, and I'll make a joke about it. Like it's not a test. Use your cell phone. So um, try it. You know, there's a lot of different versions. The Fabulous Game is literally like a blank sheet of paper that's like name, number, text, or call, and then check a box if they're over 25. There's some that have like different occupations. So like can you think of a bride, your neighbor, a daycare provider, an EMT? You can try that too. Um, there's others that I, I kind of like that are like, who's your happiest friend, your kindest friend, your most well-dressed friend. So you try what feels comfortable for you, but knowing that about one in 10 is gonna book, a full sheet of 20 is likely to lead to two parties. 50% of part well-coached parties hold. So that's likely to turn into one awesome party. So that's why I say like, do whatever you have to do to get the 20. Cause that's the magic number of, if you've got four or five people there, so you're looking at about a hundred names, that's going to act, that could fill your month. You know, one good party, one good set of referrals could really fill up your whole month. So do what you have to do and leave. Um, you know, <laughs> let them sit. If they don't want to give you names, they're happy to sit there and talk to each other cause they know each other. Um, I'll tell you at my single facial where I spent $400 and did not sign up to do Mary Kay, Brooke left. She gave me a glass of wine. I was sitting on her deck and she left. She went inside for a while. Like I was done. I didn't, I didn't fill the whole thing out, by the way. I gave her like seven or eight names. Um, and I also tell people they don't have to be local and they don't have to be female. They have to be somebody who has skin because we can do a facial in a bag and we have a men's line. And that gets people going. The reason I didn't fill the whole thing out was because I was trying to only give her people that lived close to Hudson, uh, Massachusetts, which I didn't need to do. I could have given her anyone. So all that said, now we've done the fabulous game and my, and I've done both sets of both parts of satin lips. So the only thing left is my dash out the door color look. So what I'm going to do is use this liquid foundation brush. I've given one to everyone at the table. This is a bad example because it doesn't have my sticker on it, but you want to always have, you know, those stickers that you get to put on product, put that on. Um, uh, because sometimes people think this is their free gift. And so you want to make sure that it has your name on it and that they don't think it's theirs. And, um, this is my CC cream. I'm a light to medium. I do not squirt this at the beginning of the party because A, I haven't met them yet because <laughs> I set the trays up before and I don't know what color they are, but B, I don't like this product to sit out too long. So I squirt this as they're like, because sometimes they're not done with the fabulous game, like a couple are, a couple are, that's when I'll start color matching them. So I give them, again, I did not push it the whole way down, but I give them about that much. It's on their tray. I tell them to dip their this brush, dip it in it and dot it all over their face. I'm going to use my finger because I squirted it on my finger. Um, but literally just put dots all over their faces like this. 
um, and they all freak out and they often put way too much right here and then they think that it's the wrong color. So um, that's why I say dip a little, do a couple dots, dip again. Um, this product has SPF 15 in it. So now because we did 30 in the day cream, we did 15 in the primer and we have 15 here that adds to 60. It's not a 100% cumulative ad, but we are at 50 or very close. So our dermatologists are happy. The CC in CC cream stands for color correcting. So this is like a chameleon product. It literally adjusts to your skin tone and corrects to be the perfect color for you. So I've had a room of ladies where every single person is light to medium, but they do not all have the exact same skin color and that's normal. You're not doing it wrong. So, um, trust yourself to match them. And I always tell them, I have a, times when I look at people and I say, I don't, I'm not sure. And I'll say, if this is too light, I'll come back and we can blend over it. Or if this is too dark, I'll come back with the other, we can blend over it. So, um, you may have noticed I was brushing down. You always brush down with makeup because we all have little hairs on our face. And if we brush up, we will look like we got electrocuted, which is not a good look. Then I also talk about the brush. This brush is synthetic. It's incredibly soft. It does not pull my skin at all. So you can see it's not pulling my skin. So it's not doing what my hands would do if I applied product in a downward motion. So there's no need to worry about that. Um, it's synthetic. Whenever you're applying a liquid foundation, you want to use a synthetic brush because otherwise the brush absorbs the product and you're paying to put product on your brush instead of your face. And then it also gets cleaned with Dawn dish soap or Johnson's baby shampoo, anything that is a degreaser. So this is, um, I clean after every class, obviously I clean all of the brushes, but my own personal brush, I clean once a week and I literally will squirt like dish soap in my hand and mash the brush around like this and then rinse it and then do this again. Like I'm not being gentle at all. And look, it's the exact same shape. So then I just set it on the counter to dry. That's it. That's all you have to do with the brush. So then I'm going to give them all. And this is my personal mascara, but I'm going to still show you how to do it skincare class way. This is the ultimate mascara. That's what I choose to demo because it's sort of the most universal for everyone. It is smudge proof, not waterproof. And I am using a disposable wand. I'm putting it in. I'm going like this and taking it out. I, once this touches my face, I cannot put it back in here. So I tell them I've given you enough for both eyes. Rarely will I have somebody ask for another one. So don't feel like you have to give them two of these, but you cannot double dip because that's unsanitary. So I'm just going to, I'm using this as a mirror. <laughs> then I can't really see because the light's not good. I'm putting it at the base of my lashes, wiggling a little bit and then pulling. And um, most women don't need directions on how to put on mascara. They know what to do. This mascara comes in black, brown and black. And it does not come in waterproof. Our Lash Love comes in waterproof. So when they ask me if this is waterproof, I say we have a fully waterproof one, but this one is smudge proof. And um, this is like a hot seller because this mascara is amazing. I wish that the light was better so that we could see me, but you really hear from my words, so it's fine. So now the only thing left is lip gloss. And again, this is my personal one, so I'm going to just use it. But I would dab this now, not at the beginning, because I think it can um, like dry out or other products might fall into it. I would just dab this in that big spot that says foundation, because there'll be a clean spot, and then have them pick it up with their pinky or a Q-tip, depending. Um, and I usually have a couple of colors for them to pick from, but not too many. I don't put out like 15 colors. I tell them this is your simple dash out the door color look. You know, the CC cream evened your skin tone, your eyes are bright and open, your skin's glowing from the facial, and now your lips are glossy and sparkly. And that's really, you know, we can do another color appointment where you can try like a more full face of makeup, but this is a great sort of everyday look. This light is so bad, you really can't tell, but I look great. <laughs> so then I'm going to do a tape, what I call a table close. And these are new. This is part of why I wanted to make this video with new flyers for you. So... At the table close, I have a um, sheet protector, you know, like the clear thing that goes in a three ring binder. And I have this flyer in it. Hiding behind it, I have this one. Um, and I probably will not have them pull both out. Oh, it's upside down. That's useful for you, isn't it? So this one's hiding behind it. The uh, most popular set, or the new three set clothes. But I'm going to use the most popular sets of 2017 for this video. And then on the back side of it, I have our starter kit flyer. So what I'm going to do is distribute them with the starter kit flyer face up and I am going to give them to everybody and I'm going to say, so there's absolutely no obligation to buy anything at all. I'm so glad that you came and shared this appointment with me. It was so fun getting to know you, but if you have fallen in love with any products and you want to take them home, that is definitely an option. 
So we have a couple of ways, you know, we have a couple of options today. The first is that you can join our team. And we are one of the most successful teams in Mary Kay. Our national area is one of the fa fastest growing and most successful. And actually, our unit is currently ranked number 19 in the state of Massachusetts and number three within our national area. You can confidently say, that. oh, wait, I think we're number six this month. But last month, we were number three. So you can confidently say anything like that, you know, that or you are growing your team. You, this is they can join your future free car driving team or whatever it is. You say that however you want. Um, the reason I say start with this is that Michelle Cunningham came to our January Jumpstart and she simply started offering this before products and she recruited 37 people in one month. So if you are looking to move up in this company with leadership, what's the harm of offering this first instead of second? Because Mary Kay absolutely told us to offer this to everyone. So it is part of your job to offer them a starter kit. So like, does it matter what order you do it in really, you know? So, um, so you know, your first option is that you can join our team. And it's $100 to get started. And what I always say about that to myself is, you know, I went into Target the other day. And this is a true story. I went into Target to buy mousse um, for my hair, which <laughs> clearly today I did not use. And um, I actually forgot to buy the mousse and I spent $147. And that did not change my life. It didn't. But when I bought this starter kit for $100, it changed my life. And now I will have opened the appointment by telling my eye story and telling them about myself. So I'll just repeat a little bit of that about how I have paid off debt, I have taken my family on some nice like little mini vacations, and I'm getting my first free car at the end of March. And that's all because of the $100 that I put in here. But what's great about the starter kit is that what you see here is a full size, full retail size cleanser and moisturizer. Now we've just done a repair facial, so this is actually not the skincare that you used. It's what I would recommend to anybody 18 to 30 or 18 to 25 if you're like me and you had a lot of sun damage. But this Cleanser, moisturizer, day solution, night solution retails for $95. Um, you're getting another cleanser moisturizer because there's two skin types, but you're also getting a full-size mascara and a full-size eye makeup remover. So this alone is like $200 of full-size retail products, right? So while you might not use them for yourself because you've just tried a different skincare line, you know somebody who will. So whether you have any desire to work a Mary Kay business or not, this is a great gift or you can sell it. Like this is amazing. So, um, and then I'm sure you love the mascara and my makeup remover for yourself. You also are going to get a foundation bundle. So this is 12 liquid foundations or you can get eight mineral powder foundations with brushes. So again, this is not the product that you tried, but um, you know, CC cream is sort of like the flip flop of foundations. Um, this is a great like daily, but this is not what I would wear to a wedding, to a graduation, to a fancy event, to a job interview. So liquid foundation or mineral foundation are something every woman needs in her beauty arsenal. So one of the colors is gonna be your personal color, but you're gonna get an array of colors. So again, if you're gonna work your Mary Kay business, this is what you're gonna demo on clients. But if you're not, and there is no obligation to, then this, you know, you've got friends and you just can give them free makeup, which is so exciting. So why do I say like, if you're going to work in Mary Kay business? Well, the thing about Mary Kay is we have no quotas, we have no territories. And so I hope that you get a starter kit and that you hold a party and that you make money because I believe that nobody signs up for Mary Kay to lose money. But if you don't, if you get a starter kit and we never talk again, the only thing that happens is that I'm sad because I feel like you missed a great business opportunity, but the, I get this isn't for everybody, but I hope that you'll give it a chance. So this is a great first option, the starter kit, because it is seriously almost $500 worth of product and it's only $100. It's like the best coupon you could ever ask for. So that is a great option. But if that is not for you, if that's not where you are today, that is totally fine. So flip it over. And these are our most popular sets of 2017. And what you'll see is that if you bundle them, um, let's see if I can show this to you. If you get five sets, you're going to pay $249 and you're going to get a free roll-up bag. So the products that you tried, the cleanser, the serum, the day solution, the night solution, and the eye cream, that's right here. That's not one set. That's going to count as four sets. So you could actually get that and add the deep wrinkle filler or the microderm abrasion or a foundation bundle and pay only $249. Now, I'll tell you, these five sets retail for $205. So you're getting an incredible deal by just bundling it with something else that you tried today. You could do a skin invigorate brush. You could do satin hands, satin lips. If you decide that you do want everything that you tried today, there's a different flyer that I want to show you and we can talk about that when we meet one-on-one. -on -one. But basically, this has some great options of our products. So take a look at it. I'm happy to answer any questions. But because I personally believe that budgets are private, what I'm going to do is step into the next room and I have your goodie bags for you. And when you're ready to come over, just come over and please bring your profile card and your fabulous game. And I will be happy to get you whatever products you want to take home with you today. 
And if you don't want to take any products home, that's totally fine. But please still come over because I want to give you a goodie bag. So that's what I say at the end of every appointment. And they are, I've, I've had people, so few people who have like refused to meet with me. People who don't want to come over still come over and I give them their goodie bag and I talk. So now let's assume that I'm sitting with you one-on-one -on -one and I'm going to say, how does your skin feel? And touch my face because then you're going to touch your face. And my skin feels amazing. I have to tell you because I just used the repair line. It was awesome. So they're going to tell me their skin feels great. And I'm going to ask them um, what products they want to take home today. And they're going to tell me. And then I'm going to ask them um, if they want to, or I may ask them first. Um, so tell me what you think about the Mary Kay opportunity. Um, is that something you think you'd want to partner with, with me? Cause I know I would love to work with you. You're a ton of fun and you had some great questions today or whatever. And then like, let's assume she says, yes, I am going to send her the agreement right that second to her phone. She's going to sit right next to me and she's going to fill it out while I close with all of her friends, because I want her to hear how I do that. If she says no, then I'm going to close her with product. So let's say she's given me, she wants to get, um, a cleanser and a moisturizer. Fine. So I rung her up. She's paid. And then I'm going to say, because we're not done, we do three things with every guest. So first thing is they're either signing up or you're selling them something. The second thing is I'm going to say, well, listen, I'm really close to meeting some huge goals. And part of my job is to get the opinion of um, 30 women every month about the Mary Kay opportunity. So if I sent you a really short video, could you watch that? And then just, we could hop on a call really quickly and I could just get your feedback. And she's going to say yes, because you've just spent an hour, an hour and a half with her and she likes you and you're fun and you've told her about your goals. So she wants to help you. So she's going to say yes. And you're going to say, great. I will text it to you right now. When do you think you would have time um, for us to get on the call? Like it's, it's Sunday evening. Um, could you do this? I'll actually be driving tomorrow at five 30. That's a great time for me to talk on the phone. Could I call you then? If she's like, can't decide offer her two times. Like I could do Monday at five 30 or Tuesday at four. And if she says neither of those work with her, say like, great, you know what? I'm going to text you the video anyway, and I'll just follow up with you in a couple of days and make sure that you do right. You're going to get her on that call with me. Okay. <laughs> like you're going to call her and then you're going to call me and I'm going to talk to her. You're just going to eavesdrop. So don't panic about what you're signing people up for, but not everybody's going to sign up for Mary Kay on the spot. Some people are going to need to hear more about the company. Um, when I get on the call with her, depending on like how that's going and how interested she is and what you've told me about her, I'm probably going to offer her some free product for signing up. So um, get people on that call, right? Like one in five people who do that call are going to sign up for Mary Kay. That, this is the best way for you to build your team. So just because she said no to you at the facial doesn't mean that she's going to say no to you forever. I said no at the facial and about five times after that. So, and I know some of you did too, right? So then I'm going to also book her second appointment. So I've sold her or signed her up. I have team built with her or gotten her scheduled for a team building call. And now I'm going to say, great. The last thing is I want to give you a checkout from the neck up in a couple weeks because you tried a lot of products today and I know you're going to take that cleanser and moisturizer home. And I would love to just check in with you and see how it's going. And what we can do is we could either do a spa party or a full color party, or um, we could do this same thing again with, I could add like the glycolic peel to it. Um, maybe bring the new spring nail polishes and you could have a couple of your girlfriends join you. How does that sound? And she's going to say, that sounds fun. Or no, I'd rather meet you one-on-one. -on -one. But she's probably not going to say, let's not hang out again, right? So I'm going to book her for a second appointment. And when she, often they will say like, oh, I don't have my date book. Oh, I don't know when I can do it. I'm going to say, well, listen, why don't we pick a date that works for you and me? Because we're the most two most important people here, right? And she's going to laugh and say, so um, listen, it's like a baby shower. If you tried to pick a date that worked for every single guest, it would never happen. So let's pick a date that works for you and me. And then you can invite like 20 people and hopefully, you know, four or five will be able to make it right. So, um, and we could always change it later, but let's just set a date now. And she's going to set a date with you. And then you're going to give her her goodie bag. You're going to say, it was so awesome to meet you. Have a great night, great day, great, whatever. Um, and will you send me my next victim? Or, you know, if somebody else is ready, tell them they can come right in. And that's that. So you have done everything that Mary Kay has asked of us and you have set yourself up for more bookings, more parties and a team building call, right? So that is what you should be doing at every appointment. This video is way longer than I thought it was going to be. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to post all the resources in the comments once I post this video. So or a pair of videos since I hit pause in the middle. Um, so I hope this is useful to you and I will talk to you all later. Mwah.